everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing another board game video which I haven't done in a long time and it's going to be a how to play word Yetzi. I've seen quite a lot of people asking about some of the kind of more finickety rules in this so I thought I'd just uh, make more sense of it for people hopefully. So yeah that's what we're doing today, thank you for clicking and I hope you enjoy. I apologise for any background noise, there's some grass cutters outside so I hope it's not too loud. Um, but basically this is what you should have in your box. So you've got your score pad, you've got your seven dice, you've got a timer and a little dice shaker. Um, and essentially the rules are you shake the seven word dice or the seven letter dice in here. Um, and then you try and make words out of the letters you get and each letter has a certain point of value. So if you made a three letter word and let's say it was jet and an E was a one. You can see um, if we zoom in. Here that a J is a 6, a T is a 2, let's say an E is a 1, so you would basically get 9 points for the word jet. The way that you would then write that down on the score pad would be like this. So to find out where and how many where you put and how many points you've got, you look on the list here. So if you see we made a three letter word which was jet and it says total letter value, so that is how many points you get which was the 6 plus 2 plus 1, so 9. And then if we're in game 1 and round 1, we put the 9 there. If it was our third game and we're in the fourth round, we would just follow it along there and it would be this one. Um, so basically these are all the same. It just depends on how many letters and dice you manage to use. Um, now you'll notice it only goes up to 6 letter words. If you get a 7 letter word, that's called a Yahtzee word. You score 50 points um, and you would write your 50 points here. But then you have to place a zero in the round because it's just to give it a bit more fair a bit more of a fair game for people i guess so say you were again i don't know game two um round five so you would put here zero but then you would still have your yahtzee word to go here which would give you 50 points so you've not really lost out in fact you've gained 50 points the highest points you can get so that's always really good um, and the lower section here, now you can fill both sections in at the same time. It doesn't have to be first all of these, then all of these, or the other way around. Um, so say you make a one word, and then you, you've you already filled in a three-letter word. Um, and you make another three-letter one, uh, three one word. Again, you add the letter value, and then pull it wherever you are. Um, if you've made three words, again, the total letter value. So it's basically most of these are just adding up the numbers on the letters. But then when you come to all consonants, after, this is after, basically this rule, if you roll all consonants after your second roll, you score 25 points. This would come here or wherever you are along here. And then again, you would get a zero in your round. But it's still a huge points bonus. If you get all vowels after your first throw, you gain another 25. And chance is like a wild card. It's basically if you've got a good one but you don't know where to fill it or you've already, say it's a six letter word and you've already filled in six letter word and one word, you could then use chance as like a wild card and you can do the total letter value for that as well. Um, and then at the end of the timer, basically what you do is you take it in turns in putting the dice into here. Obviously, not too hard. Um, apparently it's look on the camera. So yeah, you just, oh, Jesus, put your dice in. Okay, so now let's say this is an actual game. We would flip the timer over. Okay, there we go. So now these is what, this is what I've got to work with and I have to think of at least 30 seconds. So I've got mine. So that would get me nine points. Sorry, eight points. Um, oh, better one. I can have home. There we go. And in fact, in a home. Okay, so that. Okay, I've beaten the timer, so that's not an issue. Then I'm gonna. I'm happy with this. So in a home is a three words on here in the lower section so now i count up the total letter value so we've got four five six seven eight nine twelve thirteen so then if this is game one round one i would come here i would go to three words round one game one and the points would be written in there 
hopefully that helps clear things up for people um i know it's been a short video but it's not a lot really to say about this game once you get it you get it um and basically you all take it in turns you start with one player you go clockwise to take turns um and so basically round one you all have a game in round one <clears throat> so it's not like round one is one person round two is the next person but now round three will be the next person it's you all do this one role in each round so you would be if you were a three player game there would be three roles in round one but obviously you would all have a separate score sheet um i think that's it so basically finishing up you add your total score up from here and put that there if you get a total of over 35 points um you score 35 extra here and then you add the total of these two and then as we come to the lower section you put your total here of these the total of the upper section which is obviously here and then you put the grand total um pretty simple so yeah i hope that helps i hope that clears up anything for people and thank you for watching take care guys stay cool stay safe bye mm -hmm.